For years, Tostin Nichols suffered from chronic back pain. He went through surgery six times in his search for a cure. Even powerful painkillers like morphine didn't help. I had operation after operation, but the pain continued. It got even worse. I had pretty much given up hope that they could ever help get it under control. That despair finally brought him to pain physician Barbara Kleinmann. She put Nichols on a new, highly effective pain medication that was developed from a toxin produced by a sea snail. In patients like Nichols, small doses of the substance are constantly released directly into the spinal cord via a pump implanted in the abdomen. Finding the right dosage is challenging. But a major advantage over other pain medicines like morphine is that patients don't grow addicted. The development of this compound is a real innovation in pain therapy. Until now, we relied only on very powerful morphine derivatives. The new substance is a thousand times more powerful than morphine. A lot of pain therapists have been waiting for something like this. These rare images of the predator species that produces the toxin were made by researcher Baldemero Oliveira from the University of Utah. The cone snail kills its prey almost instantly with a kind of high-speed poison arrow. Researchers like Heinrich Terlau are racing to uncover other promising substances from the depths of the sea. Cone snails are predators, but they're slow. So they can't chase their prey, and they can't just seize it. That's why they need a toxin that's very powerful and that acts very quickly. Nowadays, we assume that only snails that evolved especially effective poisons were really successful, that there was a lot of selective pressure there. Each of the around 800 known cone snail species produces its own cocktail of toxins. Any of the compounds could prove to be the next big pioneering medication. Biologists, chemists, and physicians are now working together to explore one of the sea's most precious resources.